Hello everyone. My name is Nachiketa and in this video I'm going to be talking about my profile using which I had applied for my masters at several colleges in the US and I'm going for my masters in information systems program this fall and I'm going to be talking about that for those of you who are coming on to the channel for the first time my name is Nachiketa and I regularly make I won't say regularly actually but I make videos on this channel on masters application process uh different competitive exams and how to crack it specifically for your masters like GRE and TOEFL and I'm going to be more regular in making videos like this but let's get started with this video so talking about my profile I graduated from VIT Vellore with a 8.52 CGPA my bachelor's was in electronics and communication my talking about my exam scores in my GRE I had scored a 332 and my TOEFL was a 110 and I have also made videos on how to get these scores in the channel itself so that was about my scores and my GPA other than that talking about my work experience I had all close to 2 years of work experience and it was at a video AI startup called as Aviros and in my first year i worked there as a computer vision engineer where i worked on video ai problems which could be solved using computer vision and deep learning models in the second year i started working there in the same company as a technical product manager so i won't talk about that in detail but it's a basically a role which has an overlap of technical business and designing user experience so that is what i did other than that if i talk about my internships i had two internships Uh, one was a research internship at Triple IT Nagpur, where I had worked on a computer vision based project, and I had submitted the paper to a Springer journal. It had not got accepted, but I had submitted the paper, and that is something I had mentioned in my statements of purpose as well. I had another internship at as an IT intern at Maruti Suzuki, which was for one or two months. Talking about my research papers, I had four research papers. All of them were in machine learning and computer vision. Other than that, if I talk about my extracurriculars, I had some extracurriculars like I'd mentioned this YouTube channel in my extracurriculars as well. I have another YouTube channel where I talk about artificial intelligence and teach that. So that, that is relevant to my program of study, which is why I'd mention it. Other than that, I have been invited as a guest speaker to some colleges to speak on AI and machine learning related topics, which is also something I'd mention in my application. and i was part of some college societies where again i mentored a group of students for technical projects and again conducted some workshops and talked about ai machine learning and computer science related topics so that is mainly my profile using this profile i had applied to only 3 colleges normally you apply to 10 around 8 to 10 colleges with a mix of safe ambitious and moderate colleges i didn't do that because i applied to for my masters before also in 2020 when i had applied i had applied to around 10 colleges right so it's a very expensive process which is why i did not want to waste a lot of money on my applications also because i had work experience i thought i can afford to be more selective this time and there were few colleges where i was really interested in going if i didn't get an admit from there i was ready to wait for another year although i don't think i would have actually waited that long but i was really particular on going to these three colleges so the first college where i applied to was carnegie mellon university i had applied for the masters in information systems program which is also known as the mism program so it's a 16 month program i won't talk about it in a lot of detail i'll make a separate video on why i applied to the colleges which i applied to and why the particular program but in brief it has a very it is one of the best universities in the field of cs and ai and they have a good masters in information systems program they teach you computer science and management and business related courses and you're also allowed to specialize in ai and robotics they have a particular track called that and i was particularly interested in ai and data science so my goal was to learn computer science and management courses and it would be amazing if i could get to take some electives in the field of ai right so cmu allowed me to do that which is why i had applied there and i had got an admit from that The second college applied to was Columbia University. Columbia is an Ivy League university. It has amazing AI, data science, and computer science courses. However, they didn't have a master's in information systems program. They have something called as a master's in technology management, which did not have core computer science courses. Which is why I didn't apply to that course. I applied to the master's in data science program instead, and I got a reject from there, which was actually pretty surprising for me because when I applied in 2020. I got waitlisted at that time and then rejected but this time it was a straight reject so which is why I believe the admissions process is slightly unpredictable as well 
so that was that so all these uh qualifiers apply to i i was way behind in my deadlines i had applied in the last round of deadlines for all the colleges which is something i would definitely not recommend so that's also i feel a good factor at least you should apply in the as soon as the first round of application opens up that gives you a chance of scholarship as well and a better chance of admission in general lastly i applied to nyu for the same program masters in information systems they have a good computer science course they have lots of good computer science courses and professors and they are especially good in ai and natural language processing and they have lots of electives for especially natural language processing which was also pretty interesting to me which is why i applied to there and i had got an admit from that so basically i had two admits cmu and nyu and i finally decided to go with cmu because i believe that is better for people who are more interested in core computer science and ai because that's what cmu is known for and of course the network and community that you're going to build over there is amazing so i'll be starting this august uh, hopefully if i get my visa on time which seems highly unlikely given how things are going right now but let's see so that's all about it if there's anything else you all want to know about the master's process the application process admit subjects do let me know in the comments i'll make a separate video on it and see you again in the next video